may be slaking, depending on who you're speaking with. Godwin, good morning to you. I will prefer acid busy. Acid busy. <laughs> acid busy. It is good to see you. You said this year more investigative pieces, yeah. more slay, more everything. More compelling stories. More compelling stories. Yeah. We love to see it. We love mm, to see you looking mm, good doing thank it as you. well. Thank You've you. got something exciting coming our way um, very shortly. Is it is it airing tonight? No, it's airing on Wednesday. Airing on Wednesday. At 9 p.m. In search of a God. Searching for a God, actually. Searching for a God. Yes, yes. That's just tomorrow. Yes. You're going to be assignment. dropping another hot one there on the assignment. But let's take a listen, a small teaser, if you will. Godwin has been up to a lot. This one is searching for a God. For a God. Take a listen. the prophet, the evangelist, we are the one empowering them even to do the work of God better. Embark on a journey like no other. Since I'm married to the queen, I can call myself a power water. It is dangerous because we the water children. Our ways of life is different from ordinary people. Discover the ancient traditions that have shaped the nation. The spirit guides your physical. So know your soul. Join me as I unveil the secrets of Ghana's spiritual healers. <laughs> Meet the healers who bridge the gap between this world and the divine. Me a pastor, Pentecost, and I in Ambeyin. There is no Jesus going to come. Journey with me, God in Yatsidiba, through stories of transformation and hope. Searching for a God, unveiling Ghana's traditional path, a documentary that will touch your soul. When a baby is born, it's a big joy. Children are seen as wealth, a higher status, and a way to carry on the family. For the first seven days, the newborn stay inside because Ghanaians believe this time is when the baby is most at risk, both physically and spiritually. During these days, people think the baby is like a traveler moving between the spirit world and our world. Thus, a believe that the baby might choose to go back to the spirit world. So, for those seven days, they are called strangers. After that, they are officially welcomed with a special naming ceremony. This tradition and the idea of spiritual healing come from movements like these woven into the lives of almost every person in Ghana. When born the very first day of birth, you see very feeble. It grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and becomes a little teaser there for what to expect this one Godwin calls searching for a god, a god. um I, I i i'm already on the edge mm. of my seat mm. um with this one what is going on so for a very long time we've had a perception about traditional and spiritual healers in the country um most often when people are battling with prolonged illnesses or they are going through certain challenges in their lives they believe that maybe someone from a family is trying to draw them back or someone from 
their family is trying to punish them with that prolonged sicknesses. So you find them going to hospitals back and forth trying to heal, but they run tests and then the doctors tell them that there's nothing wrong with them. So usually in a normal Ghanaian society, it is believed that someone is trying to take your life, maybe for doing something bad to them, or it could be a family member. That is just the belief in the normal Ghanaian society. So then I was like, why don't I venture into this story, go to the soothsayers, get to know exactly how they do their works. And in order to tell the story properly, I had to start it from birth. And when a child is being born in Ghana, you are being taken through some traditional processes where they will do the naming ceremony, how you are even being bathed and all. You know, somewhere in the northern region, they use the um, shea butter oil, the shea butter. Mm. for your skin they have some concoctions that they can cook that they can use to bath the baby right and that is supposed to transition the baby from uh, the spirit world into the human world so mm. in ghana for instance when you're being born as a baby you are in the room for a week right. before you can be taken out and that is to ensure that the transitioning is being done well unfortunately when the baby dies within those days then it means that his spirit does not really um it doesn't fall in well with the world, with mm. our world, which right. is where we are at the moment. Or is so, it Ghana specifically? They arrived Ghana. here and they Th- realized that, that, is, that, that no is, way. That is what we believe in. That is what our culture believes. Is it and, yeah, <laughs> we must. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I try to say, question. if you were being born now, you would have, you would have left back uh, well, to the spirit world. I, 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 I wasn't. Um, I wasn't born in Ghana. So no, I mean, my, if you oh, were being now. born in Ghana now. Oh, let's carry, let's carry <laughs> on. Let's carry on. Anyway, so yeah, I, I started the story from there. You know, you are being born into the traditional realm. Now we all grow up and the whole Christianity thing comes mm. into the picture. People speak against the traditional believers and they don't, they've not really been giving the voice to explain what their work is all about. Immediately someone mentions a priest or someone who worship gods, then there's a certain mentality that we have of those kind of people. So I decided to go into the shrines to visit the witch doctors. You to decided to, to venture. I mean, we're, we're, we're joking, but transcending from yeah. the physical into, into the, the spiritual, spiritual is no small journey. That is not. Before you decided, actually, I want to find out what is going on in that realm. How, how did you fortify yourself? Did you just think, well, I, I'm doing this so that I can bring the story to the people? Were you nervous about that? I was actually really nervous about it. But in every adventure that I take, I, I pray. Okay. I am a Christian, so I okay. believe in the Bible and what the Bible says. So I pray. Even when I was in one of the shrines whilst conducting the interview, I was praying in there, God save me, God save me, protect me, okay. guide me with your angels. You right. understand? So I, it was just the passion and the story that I wanted to bring out to the public for them to know what their world is all about. Mm. It will surprise you that with one of the witch doctors that I visited in Techiman, Techiman, you also is actually a witch doctor that is popularly known there for doing good stuff. So when I went there and told them that, oh, someone from TV3 wants to see her and talk to her, to talk to her, one of her children had to go and inform her. So she was quite surprised that someone from TV3 will travel all the way from Accra to Techiman to see her. She had to consult with the gods mm-hmm. and they had to sacrifice a fowl, make some incantations to know if we are coming with a clean heart okay. or we are coming to expose something bad about them. Right. So we sat outside for about an hour. Then she came out, the witch doctor herself mm-hmm. spoke to us and told us to come inside the shrine. So I got in there and then she told me that do I see the blood stains on the floor? I said, yes. We had to consult with the gods to know if you are coming with a good heart or not. And the, the gods gave you clearance? Yes, that we we're, were coming with a good purpose. So mm. one thing about them too is that when you go into the shrine or when you enter their realm with a good heart, the gods will not harm you. Okay. Yes. So I clearly went there with a clean heart just to tell their story for people mm. to get to understand what they also do. So in Techiman also, for instance, when you go there, she has patients who are battling with stroke and other illnesses that 
the hospital has not been able to treat. Some of them have gone to pastors to pray for them, but they haven't been healed. And they claim that they have been under the care of the witch doctor for about months and they are getting better. So you see patients who are being, you know, kept in a certain space. So you saw those patients who were there? Of course, I spoke, I spoke, I spoke to them. Right. And they also attested to the fact that the witch doctor was doing such a fantastic job. They were getting better, in fact, getting cured of their ailments. mm -hmm. Some of them came in with half of their body not working. They cannot walk, they cannot talk, but they can talk now. And you could still see them struggle a little to walk. You see them and you can clearly tell that this is someone who is battling a stroke or a certain illness, you understand? Mm. So Do they combine the spirituality with some some medication? So are they taking some herbal exactly. potions? Exactly. Okay. The, the spiritual you know, guidance comes with herbs. Okay. They believe that spirituality is all about nature. Mm. So God created or their God created the universe and also um, gave them something that can be used to heal them when they are sick. So through the guidance of the gods, so you Helen comes in with a sickness right. that consult the gods, then the God gives them a direction as to what they can use to heal you. I see. So it can be a cat, it can be a sheep, it can be anything else. But then they back that up with some herbs as well. Mm. So the gods guide them into the forest to maybe pluck this particular leaf, add this branch or whatever. Then they put it together. So there was a certain medication there called motor. Motor? Yeah. It's Mm. it's black in color, very black. So when they bow before the gods every morning to worship, they share it among themselves in a cup. It's it's in a liquid form. Did you try any of this? Try what? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I didn't the gods want... already gave you clearance. It yes, was... I didn't. I didn't want my soul to be attached there. I mean, I, okay. I visited some people who asked me if I if I'd wanted to look into my life and what my future looks like. And did and you? Who is doing what to me or not? I said no. You didn't want that. No, I, I I don't even want anything of my. Soul. I don't even. I don't want anything. Like I said, I am a Christian. Okay. And that is what I believe in. I just. But I'm want... sure some of the people that you saw there. Mm-hmm. We're so you, you can see these people who, mm-hmm. are, unfortunately for those who are listening to us, they, they won't be see, able to some see Some are pictures, watching us on Facebook, on Facebook, so check it out. So those are people there who are kneeling before the Nana Jindu gods in Techiman. So they mm. do this in the morning, and that's the motto I was talking about. Yes, We don't want to give too much away because on yeah. Thursday we'll be showing on it. Wednesday. Well, we will show ours on Thursday. Oh, so great, of course on great. TV you can get ahead of us yeah. um, and watch it at what, 9pm on yes. TV3. Mm-hmm. If you've got DSTV, it's channel 279. Um, but on Thursday we'll treat you to the full show uh, on the morning show. You can also watch it on Facebook, in fact, yeah. and listen as as you head but to this work is just the episode one of it. Episode okay. two is more intriguing. In fact, was it episode one we saw? Is it somebody who was being yes, buried that was with? The, yeah. Was somebody underneath the rubble, the soil? Of course. A human being. A human breathing. being. Breathing. Mm-hmm. So they put a dry mat on it. Then they added the diesel. Yes. Lighted a matchstick and then the fire started burning. And then they covered it up with soil. Uh-huh. But sometime after like five minutes, he appeared somewhere else in the forest and walked into... You saw this? I saw all of that. <laughs> yeah, so in episode two, that is actually part of the episode one. That's the beginning of the story. But in episode two, we spoke to someone who is also married to... Mami Water. So he calls himself Papa Water. He believes in water and he worships water. Papa Water. Yes. You also met Papa Water. Yes. But no Mami Water. <laughs> no. So he he's married and anytime he wants to make out with his wife they will have to enter into the spiritual realm. So when they get there, the woman doesn't behave normal. She behaves in a certain way. Like how? When she's in the spirit. She doesn't speak. They speak in a certain language. What language? uh, Christians, we have tongues. They have their own as well. I don't know what it is called, but it's not a simple... Did you learn any of it when you... Godwin says, I went to do my journalism to and bring my, you the story, yes. and that was it. You no, are, you didn't it. taste any of the, what was it, more, more, motor. Motor, you didn't yeah. taste motor. <laughs> you didn't look into your future. You are, you didn't learn the language. You know, I, I just had this mindset whilst going there. I think if you 
involve yourself with them from the beginning, it might stick with you for a very long time or your entire life. Okay. If I go there to seek for help, there are certain things that they might take from me. That is what I believe. So I just sort of want data anything. keeping, if you will, your spiritual exactly. data or might maybe be left my there. soul will be kept somewhere in a bottle. I just have this oh, weird feeling about it. I don't think anybody will it. do you harm. Well, well, that was just my mindset. You so never know. I didn't. I didn't. What? I never know. We we we're all in a in a space where anything can happen. That's right. Anything at all can happen. Mm. Someone wants your sport. Ah, uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then yeah. someone no more to yeah. motor. <laughs> And add gin too. I do all condom nail protective. So I, I need to. Me, me want to be my one. Na me in far bottle lembra. Patch your hair, yeah. Yeah. So if this you, guy. If you want it bad enough, I concede. It's not me. You <laughs> tie my destiny into me, so to trim yeah. me like a hammer. So you see this guy here with yes. half of his arm almost peeling off. Yes. He was in Italy. Mm -hmm. Half of his body was dead. He said he was working and suddenly collapsed, and he spent all his money in, in Italy. Came mm. back to Ghana went to churches hospitals nothing and then finally arrived at um the witch doctor's camp and he is now getting better but he's lost everything and life is like really hard for him at the moment so this is his last resort yeah time check it is some 32 minutes past the hour of nine you're still live here on 3FM Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. We're just wrapping up with Godwin Asida, but he's got a new compelling story for us. It's titled Searching for a God. It's airing um, tomorrow at 9 p.m. That's episode one. one. You can catch it on TV3, and we will give you a playback on Thursday morning. I thoroughly enjoy Godwin's pieces. They're, as I mentioned, always compelling. We learn a thing or two. I think this one will be quite interesting because as a society we found a way to marry these two particular faiths so mm -hmm. it's either the christianity with the spiritual side even the um muslim religion also yeah. and yeah. the spiritual and traditional side and mm -hmm. sometimes where one starts and the other ends and the other ends and the other starts sometimes mm -hmm. it's difficult to see but these are all people as you captured looking for help seeking yeah. for help yeah. in the spiritual world and just like you indicated about the christianity part because i didn't want to take the attention from the traditional healers i didn't really add anything about okay. christianity to it the spotlight is on to, these spiritual healers. exactly sure i didn't want to bring in that um comparison to mm. create a certain debate sure. because at the end the christianity obviously they do have larger people who might come in to support you know, you only have few people who believe in these traditional stuff. But those who are into it and understand it better, usually when you get them into a debate to battle with a Christian, they turn out to maybe speak much sense. That's if you are able to pay keen attention to what they are saying. Mm. And you get to understand the reason why they believe in what they are believing. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know, this is just for the general public and any regular person at all. So I didn't want to bring in that Christianity part where it will spark some sort of unnecessary conversations. Mm. Absolutely. All. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you can catch that again tomorrow, 9 p.m. Godwin, great to see you. Thank you so great much for you, this Godwin. one. And we're looking forward to all the different episodes. It's searching for oh, a God. God. Catch it tomorrow. Sharp. Thank you.